Hey guys, so today we're going to cover three different advanced tips for Sword and Shield. This is going to apply to both Iceborne and Monster Hunter Rise. Even though I'll do a separate video for Rise itself, this is still content, so you know, if you find this useful, like, comment, share, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So first and foremost, we're going to cover the back step. And I'm doing this specifically because I can now show you my button inputs on the screen. And seeing the button inputs will help a lot of people know some really good timing techniques for some of these moves. So I know pretty much anyone who plays Sword and Shield knows how the back step works for the most part. And most people usually do it after an attack, right? by attacking and then pressing circle again and backwards but you can actually do this from guarding you can actually hold up your shield by holding guard you can press circle really quickly and then press backwards but you don't also have to hold guard you can also just tap guard as well and if you combine this together you can do this really really quickly after you get used to it and then when your weapon is sheathed you can still do it because in world or in fifth gen in general you can easily just unsheath your weapon with a guard and I know some of you have seen players do this and I know you're wondering well how the hell did you do that so smooth and so quickly <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much how that works so another way you can do the back step is while rolling while your weapon is drawn. Simply roll, <laughs> simply roll, and then press circle. It's as simple as that. And you can, you know, go into the basic stuff with the back step from there. So there's a more complicated way to do this. And it's infinitely more useful in certain cases. So. There is a way to do this while your weapon is sheathed. So you don't need to have your weapon out to do this. So the key to doing this is rolling and then holding the guard button. But there's a catch. So if you just roll, if I just roll and press guard, there's going to be so much lag between that. And that's not what you want to do. You're going to get yourself molly whopped if you do that. So when you're rolling in any direction, what you want to do is hold that direction. And it doesn't even have to be the direction you want to end up on. Um, if you want to like end up on the opposite direction, you can hold, you know, the opposite direction. So what you want to do is hold the direction, roll, and then press guard. And that's going to bring up your shield a lot more quicker than just pressing it without holding that direction. So you mix this with inputting the back step manually with circle and back and then you can do this and yeah it it it's not um it's not as easy as I could make it look you know if you mess up you'll end up doing something completely different like this so it's the timing is super duper tight like it's it takes a lot of practice I'll just say that so our last tip for today is actually going to be another tip that you can uh, actually apply to Moss Hunter Rise with Sword and Shield. And it's actually a lot easier to do in Rise because the, the timing is not as tight. But it is a thing in this game too. So when you roll and do your back step, right? There is a way that you can switch sides like so. And it is such a good technique. It, like, so many times I've also used this to, like, dodge out of a way of a monster. Because I'm a very, like, uh, I, my gameplay is very twitchy, so I'm very reactive. So I'll dodge one way. And then if I want to snap back and attack a monster, then this is what I'll do. But it takes a lot of practice. And it's really good, um... If you can dodge out of way of a monster, 
after a really big attack because you know there's some lag between that attack for that monster so you can just get them with the uh the charge slash and it's it's just really really good see just apply this to a monster you know it's infinitely good so how you do this is um it's also kind of complicated but it's only complicated in iceborne it's it's fairly simple in rise because the timing is like non-existent so what you want to do is there's a certain point after your roll where you can input the opposite direction and then press circle so usually it's at the point in the roll where both of your feet hit the ground not necessarily when you're standing but after your roll when both of your feet literally touch down on the ground that is the indication that is that frame where you want to do your inputs so if you want you can you can freeze frame it if you want to try to get the timing because yeah if you get the timing wrong you end up doing a shield bash a shield bash <laughs> a reverse shield bash which can also be pretty good for uh if you want to do like some crazy advanced shit but but yeah this is uh really good i don't know how else to say it <laughs> practice it practice it um outside of that yeah that's pretty much it for the tips um I just wanted to do this to uh, kind of show my button inputs mainly. I'm not really sure if I can do this with Rise on the Switch. It'll be kind of difficult to set that up. But if I can, I, I'll definitely do it if I find a way. Or if anyone knows a way, you can let me know and that'll be great. But when Rise does come to PC, all my videos will have that little overlay there. So that'll be very helpful. So if you did like it, if you enjoyed it, if it helped, consider liking, comment, sharing, subscribing. I know I said this before, but if you made it this far in the video, you're a real one. You are a real one. 